What's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Hewitt. In today's video, it is day three of me building my own online business. I am going to make lip gloss off of Buax today. I'm going to put the TKB base aside and I'm going to try something new. I did an amazing job yesterday. Well, I believe that I did. I added some oils to the lip gloss and it came out even better than day one. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out right now. And if you're interested in wanting to know how to make lip gloss off of be wax this is your opportunity and keep on watching so let's take a look at some of the key ingredients that I'm going to be using to make this lip gloss uh, to start off I'm going to be using the be wax I'm going to use the coconut oil and the castor oil so these are the three things that I'm going to be putting in together to uh, heat up. I'm supposed to put in 16 grams of castor oil, 6 grams of coconut oil, and 3 grams of bee wax. But unfortunately, I don't have the scale with me. So I pretty much took a guess on the measurements here because I want to experiment to see if it will work. I don't have the scale. I am going to purchase the scale and um, try this uh, ingredient the right way next time. For now, because I'm trying it for myself, this is the way that I decided to go. I'm going to take this away and I'm gonna put it in a mini pan with water and I'm gonna boil it and wait for the wax to melt. I put the heat proof container in the boiling water. It took me about 10 minutes for the oils to melt. Now it's the cooling process. I'm going to remove it from the pot. So once the oils have melted, I removed it from the heat and let it start to cool. You'll need to stir them in while it's cooling. So that's exactly what I'm doing right now. As the oils cool, they will begin to look more like opaque. And you could tell because it was super clear before now it's fogging up while the oil is cooling though you do need to stir it constantly so that it doesn't dry up so once the oils cool this is the texture that you're going for it will look foggy it's not as clear anymore and now it is time to put the lecithin in there I got the sunflower lecithin to put in here. So it recommends to put four gram, but I am just going to put half of tablespoon. And I'm gonna stir this in. So you should be putting the lecithin in there once the oils cool, not when it's super hot. That is what's recommended. And look, it's already giving it a color, really. So at this point, I could put in any uh, essential oils or flavor. I don't have the flavor. However, I am going to use the vitamin E oil. That should be enough and I'm gonna use the jojoba oil as well now the fun part creating the color what I currently have is the uh, perky pink uh, the chocolate brown and I'm gonna put in some of the uh, pigment white I'm going to mix these three in there. So I'm going to put one drop of that. Okay, one drop of the perky pink. And I'm just going to mix it just to see the color first before I put the brown. This color is oil based, so. I'm curious to see how it's going to come out. Wow. And my chocolate brown. Oh, 
Ooh, look at that. I think I'm getting a little bit comfortable with mixing the colors. I'm not sure if this is the best idea, but I'm going to find out. Why not? This is the color. It's not chocolate brown. It's a little hint of pink. I'm, I really like this color. I'm not sure what to call it right now, but however, I'm going to let it cool completely because that is what's recommended. And then I'm gonna put it in the tube once it's completely cool. It's a little bit warm right now. It's not that warm, but it's not completely cool either. And once it is, I'm gonna put it in the tube and I'm gonna try it out. This is pretty exciting. Now that it is completely cool, the texture changed. I really like the color. It's not as liquidy as I thought it was going to be, but that doesn't matter because I really like this texture. Um, I wish I had my flavor oils so that I could put some in here. However, I, I did purchase more syringe, but when I purchased it, I didn't know that it was going to be this small. Um, and I got my pipette this time around because it was a hot mess last time trying to put it in. So you're supposed to cut the end. So clearly it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna see if I can suck it up without it. Nope, it's not working. Oh man, I can't believe I purchased the wrong syringe. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with these. I got like 25 of them. Okay. Um, I really don't wanna do it this way. Here we go, getting messy all over again. You know what? No, I don't even think this is a good idea either. I think. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is just very disappointing, but that's okay. I'm gonna use my fingers and I'm gonna apply it. I really like the texture, I like the color, and we'll see what it looks like on the lips. Okay, up and close and personal. Okay, look at it. I love the color. I love the fact that it got thick because I was a bit concerned that it was watery in the beginning. But after I allowed it to cool off, this is the end result. I am pretty disappointed though, I couldn't put it in my tube. However, I'm gonna have to order a bigger syringe and put it in there. I just, yeah, it doesn't, like wax, like beeswax. This is, moment of truth use my finger okay so I'm gonna start off with the color the color is really nice it feels like I have some like sugar on my lips though I think it would be so much better if I had the flavor oils because right now the I don't like the smell but it feels really good on the lips I like it I think I could you know continue to work on it and make it even better in my personal opinion um, but it turned out really nice I like the combination and how the color came out 
this is like the type of lip gloss that I would normally go for. Let me know in the comment box below what you think. Rate it from 1 to 10. So if I have to compare between TKB base and the B wax, I am leaning towards the TKB base right now because I like the way it felt on my lips. I'm not sure if the combination that I put together is what made it come out this way. It looked good, right? But then when I put it on my lips, I guess because I need to put flavor in it so that it could tone down the smell that I'm currently smelling, um, it would be better, right? But other than that, I think I would personally rate it a 5 out of 10 because it still needs improvement, you know what I mean? I'm still learning how to make it. Um, another thing that I really want to learn how to make is my own base so that I don't purchase, you know, all the time. I've seen many people make their own base and I'm very curious in learning how to make that. Um, overall, I am satisfied. I am going to find a way to put this in a tube so that I can save it obviously. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something off of all of my mistakes today. Um, if you tried this uh, B Wax lip gloss, let me know in the comment box below if you have any tips or tricks that you think that will help me. I greatly appreciate it. And with that being said, if you're new to my channel, subscribe, follow the journey. If you want to open your own online business, this is your opportunity. I highly encourage you. I know it's very tough to start something new and it's very scary, but you know what? Take it day by day and everything else will work out as long as you stay committed, stay consistent. And um, that's what I'm trying to do right now. Currently, I am focusing on the lip gloss. I'm waiting for my lashes to come through so that I could review them and see which ones I want to go with. I'm going to take you through that process once I receive it. And with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. And I will see you in tomorrow's video.